Hi everybody, hope you're well. Uh, so this video is just a very gentle, sort of mobility focused um, session. Um, I think it will take around 20 minutes or so. Um, it is very gentle, but as always, if anything doesn't feel great, uh, then just come away from that. Um, stretches are, or mobility work is designed to help you move and for muscles to lengthen and everything relax and release and get going. So if something is uncomfortable, um, the likelihood is that your uh, body is going to hold on to protect yourself. So if something doesn't feel great, there is absolutely no point in pushing through it. Um, just make the movement smaller. If that doesn't help, then just come away from it completely. Let me know, get in touch and we'll work out what's going on. All right, so I hope you enjoy. We're going to start on all fours. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And just gently working into cat. So we're going to breathe out, tuck the tailbone, round the back up towards the ceiling, let the head hang towards the floor, and then breathe in, lift the tailbone, and lengthen back to neutral. So just working with your breath, breathing out to round up, breathing in to come back to neutral. Start nice and small. Take the time to notice how you feel. Breathing out, tuck the tailbone, see if you can give the lower back time to round down the middle or the upper. Breathing in to come back again. If you just think about your tailbone, so the tip of your cox coccyx and the base of your breastbone or sternum, so coccyx down here, breastbone obviously at the front, lower down, find the base of it. As you breathe out and round up, think about your coccyx and the base of that breastbone coming towards each other. And then breathe in and release back to neutral. And hopefully what you'll find, if you concentrate on bringing your coccyx and the base of that sternum towards each other, you'll get a little bit more movement through the back. Go for two more, breathing out, rounding up, breathing in to come back again. And come back. And then we're just going to think about making a little circle above our hands and our knees. So the back staying in the same sort of alignment, just moving the whole body forwards across and around. So we're just working through those shoulders and hips a little bit. And then forward, take that circle the other way. Just all the time, shoulders gently drawing away from the ears. You want that nice length through the back of your neck. That feeling of the back of the neck up towards the ceiling, it stays in line with the rest of your spine. And then come back to the middle. So we're going to think about our rib cage doing um, a circle now, but in a different plane. So it's going to sink down towards the floor, come across to one side, float up come across to the other side and sink down. So there's going to be some movement through your arms. Really sinking down, coming across, floating up, across and down. So if I turn towards the camera, you might be able to see a bit better. So we're coming up and across and down and around. So my hips are staying above my knees, but rib cage and shoulders are moving. And arms will get quite a bit of work through here. Let's go one more this way and then pause, go back in the other direction. So it should feel quite nice, just mobilising all the way through that back, lifting the ribs up, across, down, across. Just go for a couple more. And 
and come back to the centre. So you're going to do a few thread the needle while we're in this position. So taking the hands underneath, letting the shoulder come towards the mat. We'll come straight back through and open up towards the ceiling. And then back to the mat. And again, breathing out to reach under, breathing in, come through. So you're aiming for your shoulder and your ear to come to the mat. And then hands go up towards the ceiling. And just notice how the movement feels in each direction. Let's go one more to each side. back to the centre and then we'll just drop back into shell so take the seat bones back to the heels take the knees a bit wider if you want more of a stretch into the hips just let the chest and the forehead come to the mat have some nice deep breaths into the back of the rib cage and then we'll just take the weight to one side and then to the other side so just moving the body across towards one leg across towards the other leg all the time nice deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth and then just come to the center and settle so we're going to come up onto a four skin and we're going to kind of work through a nice rounded back into a slight extension so if you know your back isn't sure about extension then obviously just take this slow and don't go too far so start with really tuck the tailbone come up in that rounded back position and we'll start to open up through the chest keep the lift through the tummy and we'll come gently back again so if this is not for you you can just stay in your shell Maybe walk the hands across to one side, walk the hands across to the other. Should feel nice. Again, if you're not sure about the extension, don't come too far. All the time keeping that feeling of lift through the tummy. Let's go for one more. back down. Well done, okay. Bring those knees back in. Just a couple more breaths here. And walk the hands back up towards you. So come over onto our backs, grab a little head cushion if you would like one. And we're going to do a little bit of work for the hips now. So we're going to take our feet about as wide as the mat. Just have a few breaths and let your body really sink down into the floor. Breathing in, fill the body with air and breathing out, sinking heavy into the mat. We're just going to let the back sink all of it. We're not worried about neutral or anything like that. We're just sinking into the mat nice and heavy and relaxed. And then we are going to breathe out and drop the knees across to one side. So the feet roll, but they stay on the floor. Breathing in to come back and breathing out, drop the knees the other side. So you might want to look over the opposite shoulder. Doesn't matter how far those knees come, we're just mobilizing through the hips and the back a little bit. Should feel nice and easy. Maybe just notice whether you have a similar range of movement to one side as the other. Don't worry if it's different, just notice that. And think about your shoulder blades just staying heavy down into the mat. Let's go one more each side. Come 
back to the center. Bring those feet back to their hip width apart, and then we're going to straighten one leg away. And very gently, you're going to push into the foot that is still flat on the floor, so it kind of rolls your body over that straight leg. And then gently release back down again. So keep that sort of feeling of activity through your tummy muscles. You should find a bit of a stretch through the front of that leg. And again, it doesn't matter how far you come, just work really gently, really slowly. Just feeling your way into the movement. It should feel like a nice stretch. If you're not sure, just come away from that. Just take some nice deep breaths in there so that you're comfortable. And then you can join in when we move on to the next foot. So it should feel nice. It should be a nice opening through the front of that hip. Okay, one more on this side. Come back to the centre. Switch the legs over. Same again. So just gently pushing into that foot that's on the floor. So the hips roll across. So one side of your bottom comes up away from the mat and you roll over onto that straight leg a little. Again, noticing if this side is any different from the other one. Oh, what a surprise, a little doggy's going to appear in a minute, I think. Let's go two more this way. Breathing out, so rolling across, pushing into that foot, breathing in to come back again. And then coming back to the centre, bring that other foot back in. We'll have the knees bent, glue the legs together, and we'll do our sort of more familiar hip twist, so arms wide, breathing out to drop the knees across, top foot lifts over the other shoulder, and then breathing out, draw those knees back again, all the way over, holding for a nice deep breath into the top side of the rib cage, breathing out to take those knees across. One more to each side. And come back to the centre. Okay, so we're just going to walk work into a bit of what she is. Hello, Diesel. Okay, what you doing? Oh, very nice demonstration down there, sir. Go on, off you go, that way. Okay, so we're going to work into bridge, we're going to do it slightly differently today. We're going to have our feet and our knees, the whole of our legs, glued together, heels nice and close into bottom. We'll pop our head cushions to one side for a moment. But length through the back of the neck, arms long by your sides. Rib cage stays really close. So we're going to breathe out, roll the pelvis towards us, and peel away from the mat any amount. You might not come very far to keep those ribs soft. So, pause wherever you get to, and then let the hips sink a little, and then really tuck that tailbone again, and squeeze through those bum muscles. Hold there for a breath in, and then breathe out and melt yourself back down again. So same again, breathing out to peel up, come to wherever you're comfy, then drop just a little, tuck the tailbone some more, and then squeeze back up a little bit, and you'll really feel those glutes working when you tuck and squeeze again. Hold, and then when you're ready, breathe out and peel yourself back down. So do two more like that. Breathing out to peel up, hold, come off a little bit, tuck the tailbone again, squeeze through those bum muscles, keeping the ribs soft all of the time. Hold, and then breathe out to peel back down. Last one. Breathing out to peel up. Drop down a little, tuck the tailbone some more, and then squeeze through those bum muscles. Hold for a breath in. Breathe out and peel yourself back down. Draw one knee in, draw the other knee in, have a good roll side to side. Okay, 
So we're going to come over onto one side there. So just bring yourself over. I'm going to set up as if for plan, but then we're going to drop the top leg down in front. Now, with your head cushions, you want them. So you've got your head towards the front of the cushions, your bottom arm is out at right angles to the body, and you've got those shoulders stacked nicely one above the other. So we're then going to have a nice deep breath in and open the top arm up, spinning the ribs up towards the ceiling, letting the head follow the arm, breathing out to come back again. So just think about this top arm being led backwards by the shoulder and the shoulder blade. Big breath in as you open up, breathing out, come back again. So if you know your shoulder is um, quite happy, we're going to take it into an arm circle. If you have any shoulder problems, just stick with the arm opening. So if you know you're happy with your shoulder, you're going to sweep your fingers around mm. over your head comes all the way around behind you and over the top of your leg. All the time thinking about keeping your knee on the floor, circling that arm around. So if you've got lots of range and you might be able to keep your fingers on the floor, doesn't matter if you don't, they're obviously going to have to lift from over your legs. Okay, one more in this direction. Breathing in as those ribs roll up towards the ceiling, breathing out as you come around, and then we'll go the other way. So if this is not fun for your shoulder, please do not persist. Just come back to the arm openings. Let's go for one more this way. Well done. So you can probably just roll over onto the other side. I will spin myself around so I can still see the camera and you can still see me. And we'll do the same on the other side. So, knees bent, then drop that top knee down over the bottom one. Arms out at right angles to the body, shoulders stacked. And then breathing in, open up, spin the ribs towards the ceiling, breathing out to come back again. And again, thinking about that shoulder leading the arm backwards. So keep going with the arm openings if you've got any problems at all with your shoulder. Otherwise, we'll take it into that nice circle around over the head. Oh, I've got all sorts of debris behind me coming around. Think about those fingers staying on the floor all the way around, but keeping that top knee on the floor as well. Just notice how that feels this way compared to the other way. And one more in this direction. Pause, go back the other way. So, nice deep breath in as you open up, roll towards the ceiling, breathing out to come back. Lift my cushions. And yes, you can go this way. So, it does feel quite different this way for me. Just notice that. Work with it. We'll go for one more. Bring yourself up to sit. We're going to do um, a few roll ups and add a little bit of twist into those. So, sitting up nice and tall, right up on top of those seat bones, knees a little bit bent. We're going to start with hands on knees and they're going to stay there. Head floating up towards the ceiling, collarbones nice and wide. So, we want our shoulders to stay pretty much above our hips, at least to start with. We're going to imagine the pearl is like a bowl of water and we're just going to breathe out, tuck the tailbone, see if you can pour the water out of the back of the bowl. And then breathe in and bring the 
evolve back to neutral, so the water is nice and level in the back. So breathing out, really tuck the tailbone, you should feel those lower tummy muscles working, pouring the water out of the back of the bowl, breathing in, come back up on those seat bones and bring the water back to level. Let's go a couple more like that. Breathing out to roll backwards, breathing in to come back up. So this time we'll have hands out in front, arms nice and long. We're going to start exactly the same way. Really get that water pouring out of the back of the bowl first and then allow your body to follow. Shoulder stays sinking down, head stays floating up. Tummy muscles should be working really hard to keep the control. So you might not lean back very far at all and that doesn't matter as long as you feel this area working. When you're ready, we're going to breathe out. Think about the ribs tucking in a bit more. Round forwards towards our legs. Find your seat bones and then stack up to the base of the spine. To the top of the head. Let's go a couple more like that. Breathing out. Tuck the tailbone. Pour the water out of the back of the bowl. Keep pouring more water out of the back of the bowl. Check those shoulders are sinking down. Head floating up. Hold. And then when you're ready, breathing out. Tuck the ribs in. Rolling forward to find the seat bones. Stack up to the base of the spine. There we go. Hold. And then when you're ready, on and out breath, tuck those ribs in, come towards the legs, find the seat bones, and go tall. So we're going to add some rotation to this. And it's going to be quite fluid. We're going to roll up and down quite easily and um, fluidly. So as we breathe out and roll backwards, we're going to open one arm to the side. And as we breathe in and come back to the centre, that arm comes back. Same on the other side. Then breathing out, roll off those seat bones, pour the water out the back of the bowl, open that arm and twist towards it, breathe in to come back. Make sure as you come back to centre and towards those knees, you initiate that with the rounded position. And then grow tall. Should feel nice. Any problems through your back, just come away from this or do a very small version at the start, just getting that movement through the lower back and pelvis. Let's just go two more each side. Last one each way. Nicely up, let those legs straighten, just have a little fold forwards, a little reach towards those toes. And let your those hands back up towards you. We're just going to finish, we're going to come into a little ball and have just a little roll backwards and forwards. So this is either really good fun for you or if you find it really difficult, don't worry, just have a little roll side to side. Just releasing off that lower back. more. Right, and then we're going to come over onto hands and knees, we're going to make our way up to stand. So tuck the toes, roll back over those feet, keep the hands on the mat, take the hips up towards the ceiling, just have a few breaths here, have a little pedal out through the back of the legs, let the crown of the head hang towards the mat. Draw the shoulders away from the ceiling. And then let both heels come down, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone, and roll slowly back up to stand. So I'm fairly sure I will now be more or less out of shot, but not to worry. Feet hip width apart. Have a nice deep breath in. Go up onto those toes and reach up. Breathing out to come back down. Two more. Last one. Well done. So I hope that's made you feel a little bit looser, movements a bit better. Um, let me just sort this out. I had a little message on my phone saying low battery as always. <laughs> Definitely need a new phone. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that one. A little bit different, a little bit more mobility focused. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.